Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Big Mike back with some movie reviews. Today is Monday, November 21st, 2022. And just like I told you guys yesterday, I would be doing three, my triple feature Monday. That other film, obviously I know what it is today. I mentioned I was seeing the menu as well as the inspection later on tonight. That other film is of course called She Said, which I'll be watching directly after I record this review, but let's talk about the very first one. That is, of course, The Menu. This is that wild, weird, you know, interesting looking film that has Ralph Fiennes as a chef who very much obviously is trying to be kind of like Gordon Ramsay in a way with his mannerisms and stuff. At least that's the vibe I got. And the movie stars this man who has an elite group of people, 12 people to be exact, who go to this special island at $12.50 ahead. And that's not $12.50 either, honey. And these are people who have exquisite taste in dining and they're looking for the ultimate experience when it comes to culinary delight as well as service. And two of these people are played by Nicholas Holt as well as Anya Taylor-Joy. They are a couple who along with 10 other people, are going out to this mysterious island called Hawthorne. And while they're out there, they have a multitude of courses as well as a dessert, but not everything is what it seems. Now, it's kind of difficult to talk about this film without spoiling it, but I'll just give you some cliff notes here. If you've seen the trailer, which of course I'll be linking down in the description below so you can get an idea of what this movie is about, it's one of those rare films where the trailer perfectly sells what the movie is. If you like what you see in the trailer and you get a feel for how the tone is, this is what you're going to get. And I think that's a good thing. I like consistency in marketing and advertising. Does the movie have too many big surprises? Not really. Not in my opinion. Is it entertaining? Sure. You know, it does what a lot of movies seem to fail to do these days, and that is have a consistent tone as well as keeping you on the edge of your seat and guessing what more there is to come. Because that's also kind of what the theme of the movie is. And throughout the film, you have little subtitles that usually show up in the upper left corner of the screen that detail what the uh, what you're seeing on the plate is and stuff like that. And there's some funny ones. And the film is more of like a mystery comedy, if you will. I mean, well, mystery with a touch of comedy. You know, it's got some things, of course, you're going to see coming. But again, that's not why you go to these things. You go to this movie to be entertained. Will this movie entertain you? I absolutely think it will. I'm really surprised that it has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's honestly a little higher than what I would rank it. I mean, kind of being coincidental here, the movie does kind of have a pretentious feel, but it also has the pretentious situation that's laid out in front of us with these types of diners in the restaurant setting and there are some creative choices and I gotta warn you guys by the way if you're hungry don't go see this movie see this movie eat, eat before you go see this movie because some of the things they make they do look rather tasty and I thought the performances were pretty good all around I enjoyed Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicholas Holt he's very he's got a very big dimensional you know arc to his character which I also really enjoyed and I also really loved Ralph Fiennes in this movie. He does, like I said, he channels a little bit of Gordon Ramsay. There's a reference to Gordon Ramsay that I won't spoil that. A lot of you guys who are big Ramsay fans, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about when you see the movie. And this movie was directed by Mark Millaud, and it was produced by Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, hence the comedic edge. And I thought that overall, the film, you know, it, it gave us what we wanted. Like I said, if you saw the trailer and you were intrigued by what you saw, you're going to get what you saw. Some things are going to be a little bit like really seriously, and there are going to be some moments that are going to seem a little far-fetched, but it's a movie. It's 
a 107 minute long piece of entertainment. It's a contained film. It's mostly takes place on this island. And I like the fact that, it, again, it has a consistent level to it. And it was entertaining, more or less, for better or worse. And with that being said, I am now going to assign my grade for the menu. I'm going to give this movie a B. I give it a B because it was just good. I'm not going to give it any minuses or pluses because, again, it was just a solidly good film. And if you're interested, I recommend you see it. I think you guys will definitely enjoy it. Will you watch it again? That's all up to you. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching my review today of The Menu. It's in theaters right now. Go check it out. And definitely don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to check back later when I do my review for She Said, which is a very good true story. And I know this is going to be a great film. And be sure to check back much, much later tonight for my review of the acclaimed film The Inspection. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later, and I will see you at the movies. Bye now.